another spot not too far from Saint George Castle is right in front of me and this is the view of it it looks ominous at first it is Santa Justa elevator or elevador de Santa Justa so we're gonna have a closer look at that and if it does look like a famous building which is familiar to you I'll explain that to you shortly And if you look at it, there's a big queue, all those silly people who want to pay to go up in it. Oh, the story behind it is that Gustav Eiffel, who designed and built the Eiffel Tower, one of his apprentices was responsible for this. And that's why there's a lot of similarity between that and the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And this is the price, six euro. If you want to pay good money, it'll take you up and down. So I found the secret route up to avoid paying for the lift. So I'm gonna recommend it to you. So that's the main road there from whence I came. You go this way, hang on, let me work out in my mind. Right, if you're facing the left, look to the left, walk left. And then when you reach H&M, which way am I going now? Turn right, and then it will take you up this road, which is right there, along there and you will see mango okay and i see some delivery riders there who are bangladeshi i just asked them for the tip so go up the staircase there go to the fifth floor and i'll meet you there in a moment so i had to laugh at that ask a foreigner for directions not a local and they often get that in kilkenny people asking me for directions <laughs> well I remember that time when i was in Uttara Dhaka and a rickshaw driver pulled over and asked me for directions. I was thinking to myself, do I look like a local or something? <laughs> okay, so here's floor five. And let's see what's here. If we can find the way to the top. We're inside the shopping center. So I might actually have to ask a local whilst we're in here. Okay, so let's see where this is gonna take us now onto the main street or one of them and let's see look right well that's part of the lift as you can see with the red arrow there so it's the back of H&M I think there's another staircase which I wasn't aware of or I may have found a new route either way so we have to go check it out see what's there plenty of vendors on the street with the uh, rugs and handbags and caps and trinkets and shades and whatnot they're trying to sell their wares earning an honest living which is good park these look familiar i think these are the steps so we're going to take these yes this looks promising so i'm in a better mood now that i have found it yes yeah, so this is the true way up because I recognize the H&M, the back of it back there. So turn right and it is very hidden indeed. So we'll get to it in a moment. Yes, people keep going. There's a bit of a ramp and more steps to contend with. And there sounds like sweet bossa nova jazz music playing somewhere up there. So we'll catch it in a moment. Still going up, and up, and up, because the only way is up. Let's see where we are now. An old ruined building in front, probably a church. And here's the source of that sweet music which we could hear moments ago. So I 
pause there to enjoy the groove from those two musicians. Right, I think this is the final steps to take. So let's do it. Because if it's not, hey, it's all part of the fun. The adventure of exploring a new city. And looks like I have been successful. We have made it. Yes. Yeah, actually. Miraduro das Santa Justa. Hopefully I pronounced that right. <laughs> You're allowed to lynch me. Yes, I've seen this on so many YouTube vlogs. And now I'm vlogging myself. There's the street I just came from. You can see the H&M there. I am on such a high. I really am because of these places I've dreamed of going to. And I finally made it here. And even though I'm wrecked, absolutely wrecked, walking around, sweaty back with my backpack, with all my camera gear and drone and that. It's worth it. At the end of the day, it's worth it, especially when you, you people, my subscribers, get to see the end result of what I've produced. I truly appreciate it. Much love to you. And that's looking right back to Sao George Castle, where I was earlier. You can see the castle right at the top of the hill there, at the top of the frame. So here's the top of the lift, and there's these silly people who paid. They're waiting to catch it to go down. If it was free, I would go on it. But I think six euro. I'm not going to fall into that tourist trap. But it is all included on the Lisbon card, but I think that that card is overpriced. You're going to have to go on every single attraction to make it worthwhile and spend only a few minutes in each one. So it may not be worth it. So we're about an hour till sunset. Thought I'd explore a bit more of the city, head down to the river. The Targus is in front of me, and this is Praça da Comercio. So those of you who've watched vlogs of Lisbon before, you'll be familiar with this site. The big square, plenty of space, plenty of space for events. So take your pick if you ever set up a market stall here. <laughs> and I can see yachts in the distance along the river. We'll take a closer look at that. And it's still very warm. It's still humid. I think the temperature's probably dropped to around 22 and it's approaching 8 p.m. Look at that all the way around me. The buildings are painted yellow for some reason and that is a famous archway. And is it to do with martyrdom or something? I can't really see at the top. And here's some information about the archway. And as usual, pause it and read it in your own time. And you see the buggies, the auto rickshaws, tuk tuk drivers touting for business. I'm okay, brother. I just love walking around this beautiful city. <laughs> Gina, CNG Nine. I mean, don't cut us. No, let us in the key. I'm like the best price. I'm a I'm a good one. 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 I'm a good one
Santa Luzia and Porta de Sol. A Ducha B for the Gap, old neighborhood Alfama Degben, are on a Palavalo to the department. Take a day on the Puro Lisbon, the department. Puro Lisbon actually asked to be a new department. Is the Apni Kurtasan? I could have some like a protector Jagatambra, the Apna Passport with the Daramus, the Dakajuno, the Dakajuno, Basuvitola Juno, Bambra, explain from a history of working. So, what is the price of the price? Tin John. Tin John. You can get the price of 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 the the price of the the price of the Normal not butter. আচ্ছা বলমু এরা আর আপনার নাম কি ভাই আমার নাম পারভেজ আমার ইউটিউব চ্যানেল আছে এটা দুঃখবা আমার ইউটিউব কয়েক সপ্তাহ পরে সমস্যা না তো চাইলে আপনি অনেকগুলো ওখানে মানে ইয়া দিয়ে অনেকগুলো ইয়া করতে পারবেন আচ্ছা এই ব্লগ করতে পারবেন আচ্ছা চিন্তা করমনে আর ধন্যবাদ আচ্ছা আ রাইট সো দ্য বাংলাদেশি ব্রাদার অফারড মি আ ডিল অফ 60 অর বিটুইন দ্য the chap before I ran into earlier, he was offering 70. But I'd much rather walk around and discover it for myself. It's all the fun in it. Right, so I'm right by the Targus River. There's quite a crowd which has turned up here, just enjoying the evening ambiance. I couldn't resist it then, that sneaky drone flight. So I hope you enjoyed it. But in front of me there, we're in dusk mode now. Sunset happened a few minutes ago. Look at that monument lit up there. Doesn't that look fantastic? They know how to light things over here. 
So heading back now and I'm not too sure what to do because my legs are wrecked, they're aching like anything and <laughs> I've been chafing the back of my ankle which is why I'm wearing sliders and now <laughs> I'm suffering as a result so I could just take it easy for the evening because I still want to do lots out and about tomorrow but you'll find out shortly anyway. just couldn't resist it. I've gone down into Bangla town off Martin Monish Square to have some more tasty morsels and I'm in spicy... no! And I'm in Royal Spicy. It's a fairly new restaurant and I was chatting to a couple of locals yesterday and they said that this place has received rave reviews of late. So I'll show you what we have. Lovely tandoori barbecue selection Bangladeshi style some naan bread and there's actually some pilau rice below it so what we're gonna have to do is tuck into this and taste it for you because I know that you are dying to know my opinion on it so this looks like it could be lamb chops okay just cut a piece off for you that is perfect. Mm. Not too hot. Some good spices on it. Sprinkling of coriander on it and tandoori chicken. It's on the bone, by the way. Yeah, you can taste the yogurt. It was cooked in the spices too. It has a bit of a tang to it, and that's a positive. And this is Bishop Kebab there. It's made on a skewer, it's minced beef. And I think it's called Sheik Kebab. Oh, not tough in any way. Perfect, just right, juicy. And there's a chicken variant there. And also, naan bread. I'll try some of this out. And some mint and yogurt dip there. I'll pour a bit of it on. And I think some tamarind sauce at the back, which is leaking out too. I've captured some of that. Great. I'll try this naan bread with it. That is divine. Mm. It's slightly different from naan bread I tried in a couple of other places which you may have seen in my vlog previously. This is softer and it's thin. So it's just right. Even though sometimes I might prefer a bit crispy. So I better try the rice if you look at this. It looks light and fluffy and is a taste test now. Oh my god. You taste the cloves in it. Cardamom pods. Peppers. Oh, I have not tasted pillow rice like this before. It's a little bit over... I'm trying to find the right words. It blasts the taste buds, but it eases down a little bit after. But it's a pleasant sensation nonetheless. Right. You can leave me in peace now, I want to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm absolutely stuffed and satisfied after that feast. 
and that's Ash Royal Spicy. You can see the name there. And do you know how much that cost that meal? It's for two people, including two soft drinks, was a price of $22.90. Wow, that is amazing value. Right, I think I'm gonna get my hair cut. And the time is now, let me just check it. It's 23.21 and they do open late here. I think most of the places open till midnight. It's multicultural and they work hard. Okay, as you can see, I've had my hair cut. It's only five euro. I gave him a small tip and it is 23.50. The places are open late, they're closing at midnight. And this is the name of the place, Lisbon Salon Telecom. Or maybe it's the telecom shop next to it. They call it Lisbon Salon. And that's the view inside. Right folks, thank you for joining me today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the vlog and if you haven't, or you have, I hope you have anyway, please subscribe and like. So have a great week. I'll see you again soon for the next one coming to you from Lisbon again. You all take care of yourselves and until then, bye. Another spot not too far from São Jorge Park. This looks familiar, this set of steps. So we're gonna take these. And I think these are the steps. So we're about an hour till sunset. Thank you.